Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. One Hail Mary contains three words of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with the Archangel Gabriel. Addressing Mary, maybe 15 years old. And that word is recorded in the Bible. Hence, it is the word of God. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, again, word of God. Holy Mary, mother of God. Again, word of God. The next one is a world sanctification prayer. Pray for us sinners. How many sinners? Except Mother Mary. Maybe Saint Joseph was purified when he was in the womb of the mother. So it is narrated in the life history of Saint Joseph, which is God in vision to a Benedictine nun. And it is said, probably Joseph was completely purified when he was in the womb. Mother Mary, even before birth. All others are sinners. So it is a prayer for the whole world. Pray for us sinners. People all over the world. Hallelujah. 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 Please be seated. Something about Mother Mary devotion in 1533. Mother Mary appeared in Mexico in Guadalupe. Now there is a big church with the five, where 5,000 people can be seated or kneeling down and praying. After the apparition of Our Lady in 1533, within 10 years, 8 million people were converted and received baptism, which reveals Mother Mary devotion or Mother Mary's apparition in connection with that, the Heavenly Father is showering the Holy Spirit, which can be better understood how the 15-year-old Mary, after getting conceived with Jesus, the Son of God, as she visited Elizabeth, her auntie, Hearing the greeting voice of Virgin Mary, Elizabeth and the child in the womb were filled with Holy Spirit. Here we can well recognize the plan of God with regard to the devotion to our Lady. When we say, the Rosary prayer, the Hail Mary prayer, when we have a pilgrimage to places like Velangani or Lourdes or Fatima or such places, we are supposed to get a new anointing, empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. 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 Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, verse 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you and your family shall be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. What is the mission of Jesus? John 3.16 to 18. John 3.16 to 18. God sent his only begotten son, Jesus, to the world that Oh, so that all those who believe in him shall be saved, forgiven of their sins, and have eternal life. The purpose of the Heavenly Father in sending his only begotten Son, Jesus, to suffer and die on the cross as well as to teach and preach the mission, the purpose of God is to save the whole world. All those who believe in him will be forgiven of their sins. And through the intercession of Jesus being in, seated in the right hand of the Father, he sends forgiveness of sin and gift of the Holy Spirit upon all those who are believing. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 My family, parents, all were in Northern Kerala, beyond Calicut. When my father and mother was seriously sick, they cannot walk without the help of others and so on. I used to visit them once in three months, staying there one day and the following day one day I stay, the following day I come back. When I reach back, sometimes for one or two days, I remember them very often than, than previously. And when I was thinking of my parents who are suffering due to old age, how they brought us up in the childhood days, the Lord spoke to me like this. When you think about your parents pray for 50,000 other parents like this. Lord, have mercy. Forgive them. Wash them in your precious blood. Fill them with the Holy Spirit. Give them a good death. Not only for my parents, for 50,000 others. That is how the Lord taught me a new prayer to pray for thousands of others. When we started the Bota Evangelization Ministry in 1987, a lot of people used to come for counseling to share their problems and to be prayed over. Some of them, the wives of alcoholic husbands, they are praying so many months so that the alcoholism may be taken away. The fellow is drinking more and more and causing more trouble. And the Lord said, I know to stop the alcoholism. But you pray like this for all the sufferings. I praise and thank you, Lord. Until your sorrow is gone and you are filled with the Holy Spirit. Every suffering I praise you. I thank you. Praising and thanking our negative thinking, accumulation of negative thoughts, sorrow, despair, anxiety, all will be wiped away by praising and thanking. And also, you will be prepared to be filled with Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Ephesians, Ephesians 5.20 At all times and for everything praise the Heavenly Father in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. He was the son of the eternal father without any sin but he was to undergo passion, suffering, crucifixion but it was not the end of it. After that, the glorious resurrection. After every suffering, there will be a new revelation, a new anointing of the Holy Spirit will be given to us. Hallelujah. 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 Why? Jesus, the Son of God, the sinless person, had to undergo suffering and death. First John, Epistle of John, chapter 2, verse 2. He is the sacrificial offering for our sins, not only for our sins, but for the sins of the whole world. Christ is the head of the church, the risen Lord. Christ. We are the members of his body. If Christ suffered for the whole world, all Christians will be asked to share our suffering for the salvation, forgiveness of sin, anointing of the Holy Spirit for thousands and millions. Colossians 1.24 St. Paul wrote I carry in my body what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A few days ago I had to visit the mother of a priest who is bedridden. Priest is in Rome. He has come from Rome because his mother had undergone heart operation and she is for days together suffering continually pain in the body. She cannot turn this side. She cannot turn this side. So it is a severe pain. And I reached, I asked the woman, how old are you? She said, 73 years old. Then I said, maybe you can offer your suffering for 73 million sinners. If you unite your suffering with the sufferings of Jesus on the cross, then our sufferings attain infinite value because we are uniting our suffering with the sufferings of Jesus on the cross. And I recited a prayer for her. I offer all my sufferings of the past, present and future till my death in union with the sufferings of Jesus. For millions of sinners to be converted, to be filled with the Holy Spirit, to become holy. I recited that prayer for three times. Then I asked, how do you feel? She turned this side. She turned this side. Oh, a lot of pain is disappearing. Then I said, maybe you multiply by two or three. Seventy-three into two. 72 into 3. Uh, how many millions then? 
nearly more than 200 million praise the lord praise the lord and again i recited that prayer i offer all my sufferings of the past the present the future all my everyday activity all my prayers past present and future in union with the sufferings of jesus maybe in union with all the holy masses celebrated all over the world nearly 400000 holy masses but for offering it for millions of sinners why you have to offer like this luke chapter 3 verse 6 says luke 36 the whole mankind will see the salvation of our god that is the will of god that is the plan of god maybe we are here in this retreat center maybe 2000 3000 including the seven six language retreat and also the volunteers here maybe 3000 people is it enough they are to be saved no the 70 7800 million people to be saved we christians have to contribute towards the mission of jesus first and foremost by offering our suffering in union with the sufferings of jesus then each one will be given a charism a power maybe to preach maybe to sing the music ministry and lead the people to the anointing of the holy spirit maybe as a catechism teacher maybe as a prayer group member organizing prayer groups and intercessions each and every christian has a role towards realizing the salvation the evangelization of the whole world before ascending to heaven jesus said to his disciples go and make disciples of all nations matthew 28 18 to 20 matthew 28 18 jesus said all authority in heaven and on earth is given to me not to the indian prime minister not to the american president not to any leaders of the nation because all the leaders of the nation all the founders of religion and all human beings who appeared on the face of the earth all have died no one has come back to life only jesus christ he is alive even now hallelujah 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 i told you i visited a lady 73 years old and i recited prayers to her and uh, the son who came from rome where he is studying because his mother is undergoing serious heart operation she cannot move her hands or anything now after reciting this prayer of offering for 200 million sinners she is walking around she received a total healing yes, why this is a pleasing sacrifice to god romans 12:1 
Romans 12.1 I appeal to you brethren in the mercies of the Lord to offer yourself as a living sacrifice which is pleasing to God living sacrifice for what purpose for the purpose for which Jesus died for the forgiveness of sin for the deliverance from sin and for the renewal of life to be filled with the Holy Spirit everyone to become a child of God Hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 Romans 12, 2. Everyone be transformed in the mind. Transformed by the word of God. Your mind should be filled with the word of God. You should learn the word of God which brings healing to you, to others. Divine consolation to you and to others. Consoling the word of God. Encouraging the word of God. There will be Lot of bread of God which brings healing and deliverance. You have to learn them. You have to collect them. You have to buy heart them. And Holy Spirit will remind you the most needed bread of God in the time of crisis. Be transformed by the word of God. Then only you can discern the will of God for you. Hallelujah. 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 All the people all over the world are praying to take away their crosses. Did Mother Mary and Jesus pray, take away my cross? No. On the Day previous to his death, Good Friday is the day of death, on Thursday morning, Jesus came to his mother and said to him, said to her, Mother, you said fiat, behold, let it be done according to your word. To the angel, mother said, then only I was born in your womb when you said yes to the message of the angel. Today you have to give me permission for my suffering and death on the cross. Without your permission I cannot proceed. Mother Mary reacted like this. You get a grace from the Father for me also to die with you. I also desire to die with you. For that, Jesus gave a special grace. All the suffering sins, she could walk holding the hand of St. John and witness the suffering and participate in the suffering. In other Otherwise, she was given the grace to see in vision the sufferings of Jesus. At the foot of the cross, Mary was there suffering the pain of the crucifixion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, but unfortunately, many of the believers pray to take away their suffering. Take away the suffering. But that is not the best prayer. Best prayer is, I praise you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I glorify you, Lord. I want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. 
I want to hear the voice of my God. Speak to me, Lord. Why this suffering? What is your plan about this suffering? Reveal me your plans. And anoint me with your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The other day, we four of us were praying the evening prayers in our chapel in the Malayalam section. Suddenly, one person came. Four people are waiting for you. I felt a little angry, but I have to go. So I went to speak with these four persons. The woman said, 38 years ago, I was bedridden. At that time, severe joy in Spain. At that time, I was taken to a convention, carried. And... More than 10,000 people were in the convention. My name was called out. And the color of the sari I was wearing was spoken, said out. And I was healed 38 years ago. Three months I was bedridden. Three years of, uh, I was suffering pain all over the body. Now, 38 years, every week, I am going to Porta and doing counseling or some other ministry. 38 years. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 After every suffering, God reveals His plan about our life, how to share. In the ministry of Jesus, the Son of God, for the healing and deliverance of the people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our ears, not the gift of our parents. Our hands, our legs, not the gift of our parents. Our intelligence, our memory, not the gift of our parents. But whose gift is that? It belongs to God. Our life is a gift from God. We have to be always confessing. The ownership belongs to God. So we are indebted to God. So at all times, we have to give thanks to God. Hallelujah. 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 All our everyday activity and life it is a gift of God. We offer it back to God for the purpose of Jesus Christ. What is the purpose for which Jesus came? I came to call. Not the just, but the sinners. sinners to repentance. That is the mission of Jesus. We have to participate in that mission. Conversion of sinners. Healing and deliverance of all. Hallelujah. 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 We have great saints in the Catholic Church. All the saints had this special gift to offer their suffering for the conversion of sinners. As Jesus suffered, we offer our suffering in union with the sufferings of Jesus and offer to the Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. 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 There is in Samuel, first Samuel eighteen seven, the young boy David took a stone and threw at whom? Goliath. 
the great terrorist man there the whole israel was afraid of him the young boy throwing a stone it was hit his forehead fell down he was killed the whole israel was singing and dancing saul killed thousands david killed Ten. tens of thousands that means at least 100000 but such a thing had not happened it was the rejoicing song of the israelites but it is whatever word is written is for us saul killed thousands david killed tens of thousands killing means destroying the power of satan by intercession by the blood of jesus by saying the name of jesus the power of satan is destroyed people are delivered how many people tens. saul killed thousands they will kill tens of thousands maybe we can for pray for 10000 or 100000 sinners offer our suffering or more than that and so on offering our suffering that people will be delivered from the bondage of sin sin little teres of lisio all the saints offered their suffering for the conversion of sinners jesus died carrying the punishment of, of the sin of all first peter 2 24 first peter 2 24 jesus carried our sins upon his shoulders and died on the cross so that we may die to sin and live for righteousness, live for righteousness. by his wounds we are healed by his wounds we are healed our sufferings will heal thousands and millions of others united with the sufferings of jesus hallelujah 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 please once again stand up i will recite this prayer Romans 12:1 Please repeat after me I appeal to you brethren I appeal to you brethren in the mercies of the Lord in the mercies of the Lord to offer yourself to offer yourself as a living sacrifice as a living sacrifice which is the true worship pleasing to God which is true worship pleasing to god offering our everyday work everyday activity offering our everyday activities nothing of them belong to god us but everything is a gift of god do you agree yes so let us recite this prayer heavenly father heavenly father it is a privilege for me it is a privilege for me to offer my whole life to offer my whole life every suffering every suffering past to present and future past present and future every work every work every activity every activity every prayer every prayer past to present and future past present and future in union in union with the sufferings of jesus with the sufferings of jesus on the cross on the cross i offer them i offer them for the salvation for the salvation healing healing and deliverance and deliverance of millions of people of millions of people how many years old are you maybe 50 then offer it for 50 million or 100 million or 150 million or still further maybe you are only 20 offer it for 40 million or 60 million i know anything will come holy spirit will come healing will come because it is a pleasing sacrifice to god according to romans 12:1 hallelujah 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 so there will not be any waste 
offer every suffering for God's kingdom. Jesus said, Come to me, you who are tired, and I will give you rest. Divine Retreat Center invites you to a spiritual renewal retreats held every week from Sunday to Friday. Enter the presence of God with vibrant praise and worship. Listen to the life-changing scripture messages. Experience the healing power of the sacraments. Led by Father John Kanicheri and Father Dibbin Aluasheri and the Divine Retreat Center team. Special retreats to be led by Father Augustine Waluran with the Divine Retreat Center team are The Advent Retreat from December 4th to 9th and December 11th to 16th Emmanuel Conference with a Youth Retreat and Family Renewal Retreat from December 18th to 23rd You're welcome to stay for Christmas The Christmas Retreat from December 25th to 30th for more details, contact us at divineretreatcenter at gmail.com.